It was 4.30 a.m. on a Saturday morning when the sky was starting to brighten. I, Kota Yayoi, was waiting for the first train at a family restaurant after having played late with my friends and missed the last train. Uh, I forgot about the time and drank a lot. But what's that family doing since a while ago? I was sitting next to a family. The mother is dressed in shabby clothes and the daughter looks a little tired. One played at this time of day? child is dozing off, but they don't want to leave? I mean, the mother is acting really suspicious. The mother was looking around a lot and checking her purse from time to time, which was obviously strange. I should not get involved in anything strange, but at that time, I was feeling good from the night before that I called out to her. Um, are you okay? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I don't have any money. What? I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I I haven't been able to feed her properly for the past few days, and she was crying, so I came in here without any money. Upon closer inspection, both of them were dressed in rags, and I immediately realized that they were going through something and wondered what would happen to the girl if her mother was caught eating or drinking without paying. Okay, then let's leave together. The train will be moving in 20 minutes. What? But, but I don't have any money. Actually, I just got the money for my part-time job yesterday. I'm feeling good after all that drinking, so I figured I'd just go with the flow. I thought I heard the mother's voice from behind me, but I took the bill and paid for her and her daughter. The only thing they ordered was a plate of meat spaghetti for 480 yen. Uh, thank you so much. No, it was just 480 yen, and I'm sure it's hard on your child if anything happens to you. Still, thank you very much for your kindness to a stranger like us. And now, if I may be so bold as to ask, do you have a place to go? Uh... Even if your stomachs are full for now, she'll be hungry again at lunchtime, and so will you, right? Do you have any plans for the future? Well, um... Um, if you'd like... You could come over to my place for a while. Your daughter looks sleepy. I would feel bad. It's okay. Oh, I don't mean that in a weird way. I'm just seriously worried. No, 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 I, I don't mean that. I feel bad having a stranger take care of us any longer. Oh, I'm Kota Yayoi. I'm a junior in college. I work part-time at a restaurant. Uh, um, I'm Sakura Haruyama. This girl is Hina. Sakura-san and Hina. So what do you think? How about a little rest at my place for now? You haven't had a proper meal or drink or rest for a while, right? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I think you both should wash yourselves. Oh, I didn't mean that in a rude way. I was afraid it'd be rude to say it, but I have to admit... It's true uh, that I've noticed a slight odor since we were at the restaurant. Sakura-san followed me with Hina in her arms. We'll be getting off five stops away. Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, who is that? Good morning, Hina. I'm Kota. Kota? Kota. Hina. I want to eat something. Hey, Hina. <laughs> I'll give you sweets when we get to my house. Can we go to Koda's house? Can we go to a room with a roof? Hina, ex excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, you'll have a room with a roof and a bed. And you can eat all the food you want. Mom, good for us. It's so cold sleeping outside. Oh my gosh. I, I apologize, Koda-san. Please, don't apologize. They must have been going through a lot. You can both sleep in the bed. Oh, I'm sorry. You even held Hina. When we got off the train, she personally asked me if I could. I couldn't say no. She was heavy, wasn't she? Hina, let's get away from Koda-san and go to bed, okay? No! Koda's warm! Koda is my bed! Hey, Koda-san's not a bed. Hina is too cute! I mean, it's Hina who's warm!
After we managed to put Hina to bed, Sakura-san told me what had happened so far. About a month ago, she found out that her husband had been having an affair, and he made Sakura-san write divorce papers to remarry the woman with whom he was having an affair, and threw them both out penniless. I just barely grabbed the pouch that contained my wallet, but it only had 14,000 yen in it, and my husband was in charge of my cash card, so it was fortunate that I was able to bring Hina's mother-child handbook. What a terrible husband! I was asking him if he could let us in the house for a while after we got kicked out. Please! I'm leaving! So let me pack my stuff! Even if it's just for Hina! Shut up! You were abandoned by your parents and raised in an institution. Who do you think took care of you all this time? I married someone like you and you can't even thank me for taking care of you? Why don't you go back to your parents' house? Oh, you don't have a home, so why don't you go back to the institution? <laughs> <laughs> so, you have no one to rely on. Yes. I got married right after leaving a local institution and moved away when my husband was transferred, so... If you don't have anywhere to go, my parents have a business in the next town over. Would you like to go work there? What? My family is a caterer, but they can always use more female workers, so I thought they would hire you if we asked. I called my mother last week and she said she needed help, so I'm sure we can work something out. I... I... I grew up in an institution, only graduated from high school, have a child. I just met you, and you don't even know where I come from. Is that okay? I'm fine with that, because at the family restaurant, you ordered the cheapest meal and gave it all to Hina without even taking a bite yourself. That alone shows that you are a great mother who cares about her children. I... I'm not a respectable mother. My husband always told me that Hina doesn't have any discipline and that she would only grow up to be an incompetent adult just like me. <laughs> I don't know everything about you, but from what I've seen so far, you're a fine mother who cares for her children. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I think the reason why Sakura-san is so insistent on apologizing may have something to do with her upbringing as well. I contacted my mother while Sakura-san was taking a bath, and after they had both fallen asleep, I explained to her about the situation. She wanted to see them in person first. So after they woke up and got ready, the three of us headed to my parents' house. So they're in trouble. Would you be willing to hire them on a trial basis? Oh my, oh my. What a sweet daughter and mother. Oh, and the timing is perfect. Hayashi-san just recently quit her job as a live-in and we were in a bit of a bind. That's right. If you don't have a place to live, you can use Hayashi-san's old room. No, are you sure? Oh, but, but Hina... It's all right. Our grandmother will take care of her until we find a daycare. Right, Koda? Yeah, she loves kids, so don't worry. You can leave her with her. Thank you for everything. <laughs> really? I I'm sorry. I didn't know the details of what happened from there, but my parents went through the formalities and Sakura-san and Hina were hired as live-in staff. Sakura-san bowed to me over and over again, and my parents looked at them with concern and sadness, but happy. At any rate, a few days after I returned home relieved that the matter with Sakura-san and Hina was settled, I received a phone call from my mother with excitement. Sakura is a very hard worker. She's a little intimidated, but she's a good and honest girl, and she learns her work very quickly. That's good to hear. Hina's daycare is about to be decided, too. Oh, wait. Hina wants to talk to you. Koda! Oh, Hina. Are you doing well? I get to eat a lot, so I'm well. I like Grandma. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> That's good. Seems like you're eating well, then. Yeah, the soft bed feels good, too, but Hina wants to play with Koda. I went to my parents' house almost every weekend after that. And the amount of affection everyone had for Hina was beyond anything I could have imagined. If anything, 
They were jealous that she wouldn't leave my side whenever I was there. As the days went by, Sakura-san got better and better, apologizing less and saying thank you and smiling more instead. I also went to my parents' house more often to see them both. Hey, Dad, Sakura-san's husband's an adulterer, right? Can't she get alimony or child support? I've been thinking about that too. I just talked to a lawyer I know. He said they need evidence or have everything. And by evidence, you mean proof of infidelity. Emails, pictures, videos. There's no way we could get those. Oh, um, I've been getting a lot of emails and pictures of her and my husband every day from the other woman. Isn't this evidence? Your husband says I'm a better match for him than you. <laughs> you were thrown away. Gross. Oh, you had evidence of an admission of infidelity during the marriage? I think this will work. But is she human? I have no idea what the fun is in all this self-destructive behavior. She's someone who needs to harass people and show off how happy she is in order to stay sane. I see. How unfortunate. I think she's just harassing me, thinking I can't do anything. Fortunately, she kept sending Sakura-san endless messages about the relationship. Not just during the marriage, but even before the marriage. Through a lawyer we knew, Sakura-san was able to get alimony and child support from her ex-husband and the other woman. She said that she was being very stubborn with a lawyer, saying she was the one who should get the alimony. She was kicked out of the case, and after getting beaten in an argument, she reluctantly signed the documents. You! Defend me! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The matter with her ex-husband settled down and Sakura-san is still working for us. Hina started attending daycare and she became more and more cheerful. Koda, I caught worms in the field with Grandma! Oh, I hate worms! <laughs> you coward! A year later, I graduated from college rented a room right next to my parents' house, and started helping out on the premise that I would take over the restaurant. Sakura-san often came to my room to cook for me in return for my kindness. I'm so happy! Koda-san was so kind again, but tomorrow he said he's going out for a drink with his college friends. It seems there are girls there too. Oh, no, 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 I'm such a divorced woman with a child. There's no hope for me. I'm happy just to have the life I have now. Sakura-san was working hard today, too. When she's so friendly, even with the old regulars who obviously trying to make a move on Sakura-san, it bothers me. I'd like to confess my feelings to Sakura-san, but I'm afraid she'd have a hard time saying no just because she thinks I'm her benefactor. I don't know about that. You, my dad, Koda. Oh, <laughs> Hina, what are you saying? I call me off guard. Kanei told me Koda is not Hina's dad, but Hina wants Koda to be her dad. <coughs> no, 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 no. Koda will marry someone better and have a happy family, so he can't be your dad. No, if you don't mind, Sakura-san, I want to be Hina's dad. Yay! Hina's dad! Hina's dad! Hina's dad! Mom, it's okay, right? 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 Hina loved by everyone. If such a cute girl asks you to be her dad, you can't say no, can you? I hope that the three of them will be happy from now on as a family. By the way, it's amazing how she's able to touch worms. <laughs> how did you guys enjoy today's story? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you guys next time. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.